Watching you, motherfucker shot me right out of my bed. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages. We're on episode ten of Crafting Lore, which means this is a season finale. Shoot me, idiot! Come on, idiot. Um, oh, I feel a sneeze coming. Hold up. All right, some time has passed. I've been doing some progress off camera that I got to catch you guys on. We're going to go to the ocean monument. I've picked out, hand selected my top axolotls and prepped them for battle. They have gone through rigorous training, attacking squid and fish. They are now ready. This has been my training pond. Oh shit, I didn't mean to uh, turn around. So yeah, I've been doing some things. I've been working on the forge. I did a redesign. I, I liked the design. I didn't mind the design last time, but every time I walked in, there was something off about the centerpiece with that, that lava. So I literally revamped the entire thing. Uh, we're going to be using uh, some copper and some acacia trap doors to kind of create these like uh, tubes. And they'll be hooked up to vats or um, little areas where Hephaestorite would come and like forge. This is his main forge, right? This is his big area. So I want to have these excuse me, <laughs> big tubes coming out of the walls and stuff, and I'm gonna have them coming out of the ceiling and probably going into this actual forge right here, the smelter. Uh, so I've been doing some progress. Take a look at this. This is the actual kind of main forge. It has no functionality. It's purely uh, looks, but it uh, looks pretty cool. And we're using the blue flames because I don't know if you remember this in part of the lore, but Nefesterate has a deal with Brilios. He has access to um, her flame, which is the hottest flame, so he can forge some of the, the best weapon, armor, tools, etc. in all of uh, crafting lore, all right? And then we have our auto smelters kind of on the side here with some, uh, ooh, with some, uh, I don't know how that ended up in there, uh, with some uh, coal blocks to kind of prep, but I did something differently. Uh, let me pull up the Reddit profile, or was it Instagram? I think it was Instagram. There was a... Uh, or was it Reddit? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I know I liked this post. Uh, I'm trying to pull it up on my phone as I'm speaking. But it's definitely on Reddit. Give me give me a second. Here. All right. I wanted to cut away because I am awful. And people deserve the credit for kind of the unique concepts and ideas that they're coming up with. So this is his Reddit username in case you want to look up on the actual post. Um, it has about 430 likes right now. It's just on the Minecraft subreddit. Um Honestly, it's a really cool idea. He used spruce trap doors. I'm using these uh, just because I kind of like the the design a little bit better. It ties in with the uh, the copper rods and uh, the actual copper block and the vats. Once I get some of them in here, this won't look so kind of awkward. And plus, we're using lava, so we already have orange, so the color our eyes are kind of already uh, accustomed to. Um, but check this out. So let's say we want to smelt something. Hopefully I have some raw ore over here. Okay, we got copper here, okay? Oh, this. All right, we got a bunch of copper. We just mined it. We're coming up from the mines. Instead of sticky in there, which, of course, we could do, I actually have this. <laughs> and then it gets split. in between. Well, it doesn't get split. Sometimes it goes into this one. Sometimes it goes into this one. The water kind of works. To, like, Pretty much if I'm standing over here and throwing into this corner, it'll go into that one. If I'm standing over here into this corner, it'll go into that one. Just how the water is kind of worked up there. Um, so the most part, I just throw it in there, and then I just kind of walk away. I really like it. I think it's kind of cool, and this looks like a little a little bay door open, so you can throw it in there. And we still got the golems cooking in there. Um, this isn't final product, but I'm probably going to make a little training area over here because we obviously want to test the gear that... Uh, Hephaestorite is making, so I'll have like a, a little thing of arrows and a couple different targets and then maybe a dummy uh, that you can kind of smack and practice the tools and weapons on. Uh, but we are off to find an ocean monument and we are going to take on the ocean monument. We are fully prepared. I have everything in my inventory ready to go. I don't know why I have name tags. I think I was going to name the axolotls, but you can actually just name the bucket. 
and um, when you place them down, they'll they'll just have that name, which is really nice. I thought you needed to have a name tag for some reason. Uh, but let me go fly out to the uh, the closest ocean monument. I think I know where it is, and uh, I'll be right back with you guys. All right. See you in a bit. All right, folks. It's showtime. We have risky tugboat, edgeless taco, extra cheese. Bucket of Axolotl, Pizza Pocket, and Zippers. Bucket of Axolotl, I'm realizing right now, is definitely not one that I... Oh, a turtle. Did I just see something else, though, in the corner of my eye, or was I tripping? Uh, anvil. Look at that. So prepared. Uh, let's do... Survive. No, 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 no. Subscribe. If he survives, here's the deal, folks. You're watching this. You're not subscribed. This motherfucker lives. You have to subscribe, all right? Let's do a capital S. Oops. Capital S. There we go. All right? Let's see who survives out of these. Put that back in there. Whoops, whoops, whoops. So disorganized. Boom, 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 boom. Mind that. Let's do this. Showtime. Uh, let's drink. Water. I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh my god. Did I get his head? Alright, boys. Let's see them fight. The healing power of friendship. <laughs> what is that? Look at them, they don't even get attacked, really. Look at that. <laughs> They're still fighting out here. Come here. Zipper. Why are there so many in this room? Excellent. Just getting some sponge. Woo. Very exciting. Woo. The fuck? Did someone just bite a ginormous apple? Dude. Oh my god. So we're gonna go home. We're just gonna consider those uh, axolotls set free now. So out of the six homies we brought, um, four of them not even survived, but just are, are coming back home with us to tell their story. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the base. It's it's somewhere over here. I have the cord coordinates written down somewhere. I know it's lower on the the X. Oh. The Mesa, I forgot about that. Uh, so I'm going to go this way. This way. This is the way home. I do have a portal set up to that, so don't you worry. I will be using that terracotta for the uh, Season 2. So let's get back to the base and start doing stuff there now. Okay? Okay. So I went back. I dropped off the axolotls back into their, their little home. And now I'm just collecting some tropical fish so they can have some lovely snacks and we'll get some more of our battle axolotls. I think next time you know what we're going to try to do? We're going to have to make the battle axolotl area uh, bigger. We're going to get a full shulker box of um, axolotls and we're going to try to take on an ocean monument with placing all of those guys down and I'm going to place them all around the outside. Maybe half of them on the outside half of them on the inside and we'll see how much damage the axolotls can, can actually do. Um, but I figured I'd talk to you guys a little bit about Season 2. So, Season 2 of Crafting Lore. Um, I am going to film it all in one go, just like I did for this season, so you won't see it for, you know, a few months. I don't think I'm going to jump right into Season 2 as well. Uh, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a breather. This did drain me a little bit. Um, but I did start streaming again, so I want to kind of maybe stream for like a couple weeks, like two or three times a week, and then uh, kind of come back. Let me just turn my render distance down. For whatever reason, the jungle is just super laggy. Um, I just want to see what it would be like to stream for two weeks, no recording, uh, just like three or four times a week. Give that a go, see how I like it, and then uh, hop back into season two. You know, I just want to get get my feet wet again. I really enjoy streaming, honestly. It is a lot of fun, even even being the small channel that I am, even just one person showing up, it still is it still is fun to me. Even if no one shows up, I can at least, you know, document, you know, having a good time with my buddies and shit, and I can make them into videos and so on and so forth. So I am uh, 
very excited to get back into streaming and I just want to do that first get some exposure get some experience and then I'll get right back into season two and uh, we're gonna be working probably over here actually let me walk you through this again I want you guys to be prepared so you kind of know and this way we can actually have a render distance up over here as well because it's just gonna be one structure all right there will be villagers in it because um, I do want to make the structure feel alive uh, but we're probably going to build it either this way. I'm trying to I'm trying to plan in the future. I'd really like to build it on this because it's a really cool landmass. Um, and I kind of want to slowly move this way. We do have the, you can literally just see the edge of it. It's a mega spruce biome. Uh, a mega taiga, sorry. A mega taiga biome. Uh, so it'd be kind of cool to have a path to this area which is just going to be one structure on top of here and then have maybe another smaller, some sort of encampment or something in there. I think that would be really, really, really cool. So season two is going to be revolving around this group called the founders and they're going to worship the first three gods of crafting lore. So let's go, let's go into our research and development world to make this a little bit more sense. And hopefully you can get excited for season two and kind of what's in store for it. Save the world Minecraft. Single player, research and development. Uh, that was me testing if you can just name the, the bucket. Where is the gods? It's over here. Let's clear our inventory. Bum, 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 bum. And we will drop down here. So the creation story uh, of crafting lore of Minecraft that I have related it to is the first three gods. Brilios, who has to do with the nether. Uh, Eldian, who is the goddess of the sea and uh, Narati, who's the goddess of biomes. So those three gods, those are the only gods the founders are going to worship. So they're going to worship, essentially, they're worshiping dirt, which is earth, water, and let's do fire, I guess, as a campfire. So this is essentially, you know, what they're worshiping is earth, water, and fire. It's kind of like a, an origin story. They believe that these three gods pretty much are the only gods that you need to worship um, so they're going to be revolving a lot around that and they're going to be kind of a religious group, uh, and they're going to practice their religion only in their structure. I haven't come up with a name for the structure, you know, I'm thinking like the Citadel or some crap like that. Uh, but it is just going to be one pretty big structure in the desert. Um, it's not going to be necessarily a castle and it's not necessarily going to be like, a what am I trying to think? Not a cathedral, what a church. <laughs> It's not going to be like a church or a cathedral. Um, it might have some small things on the inside that kind of reflect that. But the actual outside of the building is going to be made out of terracotta. I haven't chosen a color palette yet, but I want to use a lot of terracotta. And I think brick and granite, I think, are what I want to build the, the actual structure out of. And it's going to be big, <laughs> very, very big. Nothing like I've built before. Um, I want to just make things that are cool. Even if they don't look the coolest, sometimes scale in Minecraft can just capture you. Even though the, the detail isn't great, sometimes just something big just looks fucking cool. So I want to try build something like this. Even though it's a mob farm, it looks actually pretty fucking cool. Like it doesn't really make sense why it's kind of here. Um, but picture like a tower... I don't know. It's going to go high, guys. It's going to go high. Like, we're going to have multiple areas where we can land with our uh, our elytra. Kind of like little hangers. But it's going to be one big rectangle and then pretty much like little little protrusions off. I'm going to make like a small scale and creative. And then maybe we can go through it uh, on there. I think that might be a better way to do it. But I just wanted to catch you, catch you guys up now. I just wanted to explain, you know? Get you kind of excited. Hopefully you can. Hopefully that did generate a little bit of excitement for you. Um... And I'm just super excited to get that going. Uh, the episode's not over yet. There's a couple more things I want to do before we uh, jump into it. And then when we jump into Season 2, uh, I'm going to do a lot of work off camera on Nefestorite's Garden. And when Season 2 starts, I'll try to go through that and kind of catch you guys all up on what happened when, uh, when the camera wasn't on and I wasn't showing you guys stuff. Uh, so I'm going to work on the forge a little bit and I'll come back. And at least I want to finish the forge before the season is up. So get ready for that. Lights, camera, action. Please don't destroy my world. <laughs> 
wonderful. Wonderful. So we just got to get rid of this little, you know what? I think we got just enough TNT for this. Let's just do a little little patch job here. Boom, 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 boom. I've been doing some progress on the forge. I'll show you in just uno momento, por favor. Oh, God, I'm too close to this. I am way too close to Yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, so remember, oh, my, my ground's on fire. This is Nefesterite's forge, and I'll show you what I kind of have been doing with the area. Let's look down, look down, keep looking down. This is Nefesterite's forge. So if it's Nefesterite's forge, he set it up here. Uh, for whatever reason, this is a very nice area for resources. Maybe he likes jungles, maybe he likes cats, maybe he's just a fan of parrots. We really don't know. However... If he's going to be mining here, the forge is going to need a mine shaft, and that's what I just blew up. That's going to be Nefesterite's kind of like main mine shaft. Uh, so let's go through the forge first, and then I'll kind of go through the idea for the side mine shaft here. So we've been doing some progress. I'm in love. I'm not going to lie. I'm having a lot of fun making this forge. I keep applying some other stuff. Like I've been playing a lot of Hades. It came out on Game Pass as of like August 18th. I can't remember exactly. Uh, however, I've been playing that like nonstop. And that game has a lot to do with mythology and a lot to do with like, um, well, you're in you're in Hades, which is like the under, or you're not in Hades. Hades is your dad. He's the god of pretty much death, right? And he he is owning the underworld, and you are just trying to get out of the underworld, Tartarus. Okay, follow with me so far. And because it's underworld, it's very similar to how hell is portrayed in a lot of culture it's very like dark and demonic and fire and hot and bones and melting flesh and shit like that it's very unique and very pretty i'll throw up some screenshots and stuff so you guys can kind of take a look um but i took some inspiration from there for building some of this forge and applying some of that dark atmosphere uh kind of to this uh so behind the forge we threw in some magma blocks kind of just looks even hotter uh we kind of swapped out some of the soul sand we got a crafting bench here and uh i've been doing this oops I've been catching myself on fire and going in here. Oh, hello? There we go. So the water level goes down. So we'll actually have two different uh, water levels here. Come on. Look. And then we go, boop, and it goes down one level. Look at that. And now they kind of look like they've been uh, used. A little little building tip for you. Just catch yourself on fire. I mean, you could obviously use a, a bottle uh, of water if you wanted to. Uh, we got some armor equipment up here kind of in some cool poses uh we got an enchanted axe an enchanted iron sword uh i still love this detail of them smelting or breaking down inside the forge i think that's so cool uh so they are never going inside this chest uh they just they aren't they aren't going over there that's okay so we're just going to use this chest as like the iron block chest so i'll collect all the iron collect all the iron boop 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 and we'll turn it all into blocks. And we'll just put it over here for now. And this will be where we store the iron blocks for now. Makes sense? Makes sense. Uh, we added another one of these kind of tubes. Um, another one of these water tubes coming in here. And then this actually connects to the battle axolotls. I wonder if subscribe is still in here. Subscribe, pizza pockets, zipper. I can't remember the other one. Where are they? Uh-oh. I don't see a single named axolotl in here. What the heck? Oh, there's zippers. I mean, I really got to get close. They would tell me if they died, right? I'm almost positive when you name a mob, it tells you in chat. There's Pizza Pocket. Oh, there's subscribe. Aha. Hello. I wish you could put collars on them. <laughs> you could tell who the fuck is who. Um... So we're probably actually going to make this a little bit bigger. We're going to improve this, I think. I'm going to add another axolotl face um, maybe over there or something. And we'll make this a little bit wider. And then this will be the little target area. And he'll have his battle axolotls right here. I think that'll be a really nice little cozy area for him. Having having his forge equipment. And then he'll have his little uh, area where he'll put um, two little dummies as well. That you can kind of pretend to smack. Uh, and then he has his target target range. So he can, when he makes equipment, he can test it, make sure it's holding up to its value. Um, you know what? How how did they test armor back in the day? Did they put it on like a, a dummy kind of thing like this and just smack it and then check the, the dummy? Or did they just put it on a person and whack it and test it? I'm sure there weren't really, there wasn't OSHA back then for like safety 
Sa ah, safety violations and shit. So I'm sure, I'm sure they just did whatever, whatever the the, the blacksmith wanted to test the equipment. Um, but yeah, this is going to be his beautiful, beautiful forge. Nope. I built his beautiful forge. This is going to be his beautiful, beautiful mining pit. Sorry, I'm trying to focus and not die here. Well, I am down here. Oh, wow, that was a beautiful, beautiful flight path. But I am afraid I'm going to have to bid you guys adieu. Season 1 has been a blast filming. I'm having a... I was going to say a blast, but we don't want to use that word again because we just used it. I have never put so much <laughs> into a world off camera. Um, I do a lot of stuff at work while I'm sitting there. I have notepads. I'm just kind of thinking of ideas for the second season or build projects or even just lore. We're crafting lore here, ladies and gentlemen. Just remember that. We're coming up with stories. So if you think of anything or you know anything crosses your mind, you want a weapon in the game or you remember something you heard in a game of a anything. Anything that's so cool i love lore even if it's not even if it's not um super super mainstream i don't want mainstream i want that i want that weird stuff like i'm learning in in uh the hades game i'm playing that um ooh, certain certain weapons had certain names and certain stories and uh there's only like eight weapons in the game right now that i've come across and they all have like their own kind of story that you can kind of reveal which is just really cool so um, anything along those lines, just please, please let me know. I'm open to a lot of stuff, and I would love some input. Uh, as of now, it's just... I thought I heard a freaking glass break. I was like, did I just hear glass break? Oh, she dumb. Yeah, I'm gonna let her do that. She doesn't realize there's... <laughs> oh, did she drink a potion? She drank a potion there. I'll take your glowstone. Thank you very much. But that's it, guys. That's it for season one. It's been a pleasure filming it, and hopefully you guys are excited for Season 2 as much as I am. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Thank you for everyone who made it through the entire season, and if you enjoyed it, be sure to keep on watching, because I'm only going to do more, and it's only going to get bigger and better. Goodbye, and prepare for Season 2. Up, up, up. Stop the music. Stop the music. As you can see on the screen, it says next episode. Well, there, there's not going to be a next episode. But season two, well, season two is not coming for a, a little bit either. But there will be more content. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.